Going months, years, even decades without knowing what happened to your loved one, that is the agonizing reality for thousands of families as the investigation into their disappearance goes cold. Now, most counties have a dedicated team to work cold cases, but that is not the case in King County. Fox 13 Sheriff Matt Zawa is taking a closer look at why his loved ones say they're stuck playing a waiting game for closure. Well, the King County Sheriff's Office couldn't give me an exact number of just how many cold cases there are in their department, but they tell me there are hundreds of them, including one you're about to hear. I talked with a loved one back in May, and since then, they tell me they've been running into roadblock after roadblock, so now they're trying to do something about it. Fighting to be heard and fighting for answers. It's a fight Jamie Stoopy is all too familiar with. Like thousands of others, she understands what it's like to have her calls and emails go unanswered for months, even years. Almost 46 years ago, my mom disappeared um, on November 2nd, 1978, and was never seen again, and the only trace of her was a license that was found. Jamie was just two years old when her mom, Barbara McClure, disappeared in King County. That cold case is just as important as the active case you're working now. At the King County Sheriff's Office, though, there isn't a detective or unit dedicated to working on cold cases like Barbara's. We have not had a cold case unit for over 12 years. Captain Stan Sayo with the King County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigations Division says it all boils down to budget constraints. We still look at cold cases. Um, we have the ability to have detectives work those cases on overtime uh, as time allows. So our challenge is time and resources. Time, something Jamie is running out of. Since those who worked on her mom's case more than four decades ago are getting older and dying. Which is why a private investigator is now working on her mom's case. But because cold cases are still considered open, investigators can't release her mom's file. Without the file and knowing what was done back then or not done, it puts us in a bind. And I couldn't imagine, you know, a family member, you know, being placed in that situation. The risk is, were we to release the file, it would potentially be not prosecutable. And I don't know that that would be in the best interest of the families or other potential victims. Just last month, Jamie took up these issues with the King County Council. I want to pause for a moment and consider what that means. How many parents, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, children in this county are still waiting for answers? And while we wait, there's no one working, so we're waiting for nothing. After talking at that council meeting, Jamie says some council members approached her, so she's hopeful something will come out of that. In the meantime, Captain and Seo says they will continue to work on these cases as best they can with the resources they have, but he does believe they could solve many more cases. It's just a matter of getting support and funding. In the newsroom, Shira Matt Zawa, Fox 13 News.